These are cuttlefish. Right, these ones are inky little fellas. Whoa! Keep it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Always keep them in the water, Carl. <laughs> Just got me. Hey, we are so lucky that weren't <laughs> ink there, mate. I'm telling you. <laughs> that there, look. <laughs> oh dear. That's right. Let me bring this rod in. Don't give it any slack, Cole. You've got a nice guilt on there, mate. You want you want to Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today we have got a guest on the channel. Some of you might recognize him. Um, he is the creator of a well-known Facebook group, which is the Thames Estuary Kent and South Coast Facebook group. Quite a popular group, there's nearly close on 7,000 members. He also gets himself put about a bit in the fishing world anyway, but it's Carl Golding. He's a long time friend of mine. Um, I'm from the same uh, area originally where he comes from and we've done lots of fishing. And in fact, he is a friend of the channel because one of our first um, little stints of doing YouTube about eight years ago, just some fun stuff. He is, featuring in one of those videos there if you want to look back through the archives when we were doing a bit of stingray fishing so as i say we go way back um he's down for a couple of days and we've had this plan for quite a while as always with these sort of plans you get it all set up and then the weather turns complete dicky on you and we've ended up um, having to change the plans about 10 times over but we've got a good plan of action what we're going to do over the next couple of days and um, we'll run you through each bit as we're doing it first thing this morning we're going to be doing a little bit of squid jigging um, there's quite a few squid about so hopefully um, we can get a few squid and cuttlefish Cole hasn't fished for them before so squid and cuttlefish are definitely on the agenda we're going to move on from there to do a wee bit of um, place fishing on the uh, sandbanks and then after that, we're going to head back up the estuary for the most important stints. Cole is desperate to catch himself a, a, a nice gilt head bream. And um, there's quite a few running at the moment. So over the next couple of days, we are going to put a lot of effort in to try to catch um, not just one gilt head, hopefully multiple gilt heads, but one will do to start with and get that chip ticked off of Cole's uh, wanted list. We will catch up with him a little bit later on as well and have a chat with him about his um, the Facebook group and how it came about and um, how he's running it, etc. So, yeah, sit back and enjoy. As I say, we'll take you for each individual bit of fishing we do as we do it. And um, let's go and do this. Well, that didn't take long, Carl, did it? Straight right the action. Dropped here. Good, good. Straight on with the squid to you, that's a nice squid. For your first squid, whoa, in she goes. Get in there. Lovely job, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> first drop, he's done a nice long drive down and he knocked it out of the park with that one. Look at the size of that. First drop, then, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a good, oh, look at that. that. Oh, definitely you will. <laughs> definitely. Oh. That's lovely. So you just leave them in there for a minute because they squirt loads yeah, of ink and they cover the place. We'll just let, that's that's, a that is a really nice squid, I'm not going to lie. Here we go, guys. That there, his first drop. He snuck his rod out before I've even had a chance. Oh, I'm just going to show you something. Just step aside, please, Carl. That's my rod there, guys. Look, my rod's not even set up, and this guy just pulled Kraken out of the water. That's a lovely squid. That's beauty. Yeah, that's getting on for two pound, that is. You can put it up. Hey, you're in, Carl. You're in. You're in. Go on, mate. He's, he is emptying the sea, this guy. <laughs> oh yes, he's in again. Now I might never get a rod out if I'm just taking his photos. <laughs> I don't know, he's come down from Essex here to teach me how to do this. What 
we got on? Another one. Got another squid. Hold on, hold on. Let me just get the net under that. Excellent. Oh, he just shot a load of ink. Beautiful. He's doing well here well, on these squids. Nice big, but a love and lovely one. That's a nice squid, all the same. There you go, guys. That's two for none. My rod's still there. I even got a jig out. <laughs> and um, and all I'm doing at the minute is netting his fish for him. Another nice one. Do you want to hold that one up quickly, Cole, as well? And I'll get a shot while we're just careful. He'll squirt you in the face. Careful. Don't aim him that way. <laughs> one, this is his second of the day. Beautiful. Even that's a nice fish, honestly. Yeah, guys, this is Cole's squid from earlier. It's a real beauty. It is. From the towel to the head is 38 centimetres, that one. 38. Right, guys, just to show you how we're rigging these up, and I'm able to drop my rod in for the first time today after Cole's had two beauties already. Got a little pink squid jig on, you can see. Cole's using the same, a little pink one. Um, I always fish with a running lead setup. Four ounce lead and a lot, nice lightweight little spinning rod. Both of us are using identical setups. Happy days. Let's see if we can't get a few more fish in. And there's a couple of knocks on the rod. And it's a bolted mission, I think. <laughs> there's another knock. Come on then. So aggressive. What have we got here? Yeah. We've got a little squiddy. There we go. Oh well, I'll take the small ones, Cole can take the big ones. <laughs> Excellent. That's really good, guys. That's the first squid of the day now. And uh, we've only been fishing for no more than probably, what, half an hour, if that? <laughs> so, uh, good old Plymouth is doing well for us today. There we go, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish, go on, go on. Yeah, we're on. We're in here. Yeah, I, I think this one could well be a, maybe a cuttlefish. I'm hoping it's a squid, but I've had no kicks yet. There are plenty for at the moment. Really, really good sport this is. Excellent sport. It's a quite heavy dead weight. I, I'm going to call cuttlefish on it and at the moment. Let's have a look. I think it's a cuttle. It is a cuttlefish. Right, these ones are inky little fellas. Whoa. Keep it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Always keep them in the water, Carl. <laughs> Just We're, got me. Hey, we are so lucky that weren't ink there, mate. I'm telling you. <laughs> That there, look. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> See it let go? Yeah, you've got a cuttlefish on there. Don't give it any slack because it'll just let go. Go on, you got that? Lovely. Keep it in the net this time, Carl. <laughs> See, look, there he goes. He wants to jet off. And that is what he's all about, guys. A little bit of fun. Sun peering up over there. Have a look. We've got heavy, heavy winds forecast today. But the beauty of Plymouth, as I've said before, is the Plymouth Sound gives you protection and shelter even when it's blowing. And you get to come out and do a good day's fishing even when ordinarily you'd never get out. Yeah, it looks like Cole's uh, bent into another. You into one there, or? Let's let go. Oh, there is something on there. Yeah, there's something on there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the net, because I reckon the way that kicked, it was probably a squiddy. It's another cuttle. Oh, well, we won't, we won't be uh, 
disappointed with a few couples in the box. There you go, guys. Ooh, they're like a spinning top. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. We're in yet again. We've just set up for another drift. Our plan now is we've decided this is going to be our last drift of the morning because we're going to go and try to find a few plates. It looks like another cuttlefish, indeed. I, I think we've uh, we've we've had the last of the squid now. They seem to have done the, the disappearing act as the sun's come up, as they often do, and we're now just picking up cuttlefish. So it's a good time to be thinking about moving. But um, yeah, there's another one, guys. So that's a really good little couple of hours, hour, not even a couple of hours, probably an hour session this morning where we've had cuttlefish and squid and uh, we've had some really good fun. Right guys, here we are. We have been hitting a few different spots trying to catch a few fish for you guys. The weather conditions are uh, making it really difficult. The wind is absolutely howling. for a few squid and um, as you've seen Cole's had a right good result on the squid and we both caught a few fish which was excellent Cole had his first couple of squid and one of them was actually uh, specimen size so well done on that um, we went off trying to catch a few um, place we literally only spent about no more than half an hour there. the conditions were choppy and the wind was blowing us all over the place we didn't get any bites early on and we just thought you know what we may as well come and sit up here and try to go for objective a which is gilthead bream fishing and catching Colby's first gilthead so here we are we're bream fishing all the rods are out we're a little bit early in the tide so we're not really expecting any action for the first few hours at least but if we can nick something early on then you'll be a bonus won't it? Definitely. and that's about it guys so uh yeah here we are guilt head fishing thank the weather we had lots in pla plan and in store but we've ended up not really a bad second best we sat up here now um watching our rod tip waiting for a swing round so fingers crossed this nab ourselves something uh, a little bit tasty Right guys, if you can see this, just to show you the rigs that we're using. Here we've got the running pat, which is a little length of line attached to our lead, free running, got 25 pound fluorocarbon hooks node, and then a little braid link off the top of that, just to make sure we don't get any bite throughs or get snipped up at all by any um, spider crabs. On the business end, I've got a few uh, brightly coloured beads, orange on one, green on another, and then a size 2.0 Sakuma Manta Extra Hook. And uh, that is hopefully going to win the day for us today. Well, <laughs> well, well, guys, have a look at that. You're not going to believe this, but I didn't get a bite from it. It actually took the bait while I was winding in. It didn't... Um, it didn't take it on the bottom. I was just going for a recast and midway through the cast, it took the bait. So there we go. Not really. That might be a little tiny. You don't know, will you? Oh, it's waking up now. Yeah. Don't know. Come on. Well, I've never had one. Give it, keep the pressure on, mate, because they just spit the orcs. It's only a tiny one, but we'll have it. Yes, get in. You've had your guilt. There we go, guys. Cole just had himself his first little guilt head bream. Absolutely stoked. It's not the easiest conditions today. It's windy as anything. We're blowing all over the place. But, hallelujah. Ooh, they're like a bar of soap. We've still got a good few hours left and um of the tide and we're hoping to get a few bigger ones so let's get this one put back yeah let's get that one put back and there she goes yes. back down to the depths excellent well done, well done Cole. <laughs> oh 
Oh well, there you go, there's a bit of a better bass. There you go, guys. That one led me a merry dance, actually. I got me line tangled around me rod rest and made myself look a right fool, but it came in eventually. Give me quite a good little scrap, to be fair. Probably about 38 centimetres, I reckon. Something like that. Whoop. And it's just done the backflip straight back in. There we go, guys. Caught myself a nice rock. And right in the middle of the rock, look at that. It's a mini scallop. Can you believe that? <laughs> Beautiful specimen of a rock, look. Got to go at least a half a pound, that. Back she goes. There we go, I'm in. That's a bream. We're in here, Colt. There's a gill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's one is. Don't think it's too bad either. Give me, can you give me a net, Colt? Oh, this one's going well. Got the net, please. Quick, 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 quick. Yes, boy. Get in there. Sorry, Cole, right. to take you away from it, but that one was slightly better. There we go, guys. That's a uh, nice little gilt head for me there. Give me a really good scrap, this one. Nearly, nearly stripped a bit of line, that one. I reckon it's probably about a pound and a half. So, uh, you know, not a bad size. Here we go, guys. That's back to fight another day, hopefully. Hold it in the water there because it's been out for a little while and, and there she goes. Second <laughs> ideal, beautiful little fish. Look at that guy. Markings on it. That's another little sharp knock there on the worm bait. Oh I've missed a bite there. Oh that was a missed bite. That was a good bite, guys. Have a look at that there. It's done my bait. I wouldn't mind saying that that was a guilt bite, that one. Oh. Yeah, I'm on. I'm in. No. I could, in, I, I, I could be into one of your little bream. I do have. Hey! <laughs> Hook fair and square, right through the mouth. And um, I'm just going to hold him up for you if you don't prick me right in the finger. There you go. Have a look at that, guys. Lovely little fish, look. Really nice little fish. And um, right, guys, here we go. Day two. We're back on our gilt head mark. I'm going to pop the camera up and just let you feel this wind at the moment. He's absolutely blowing one today. We've got forecast 25 to 30 miles an hour um, westerlies. So this is the only option to fish today. And as I said yesterday, it's not a bad second best, is it, Carl? No, definitely not. We've had a good day yesterday. And um, hopefully, let's top it off today with a really nice session and get ourselves into a nice uh, big gilt head. So let's get cracking. Go. A nice little gentle flick out. The boat's moving around so much, guys, that we're not even eating the same spot twice, I don't think. And let's just, just show you. Have a look around the corner here, guys. Look, that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> not at all. Mm, just had a knock on this right hand rod here for the first bit of action for. A Pretty much two over two and a half hours now. Oh, and again. A couple of oh, that went over there, Cole. 
I think that could have been a, a, the first one of the uh, bream coming through there. Seriously. Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. There's the first fish of the day, guys. It's blowing a, an absolute storm. And um, Cole just connected with thought it was possibly a gilt bite. He swung around, if I'm honest. It's a little bass. But it's a fish and we, it signifies we are coming now. It signifies we are now coming to the right time. So in that case, there you go. A nice little bully bass. Well done, Cole. First fish of the day, guys. He's caught himself a nice spider crab there. Well done, Cole. <laughs> These are little pesky so and so's, aren't they? Right, I'm gonna pop this one out. This is on the crab. I think I'm gonna hit this one out just straight out this way. My other rod now I need to wind back in. You go your side, then. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> now have a look at this, guys. You would say we are absolutely mental, and to be totally honest, I totally agree, we're absolutely mental. Yeah. But we're sitting it out here, we're just an hour or so before low water, we're going to give it the very best we can for another hour or two. The weather is really coming in hard at the moment, it's 30 mile an hour winds, rain's coming in, it's horrid to be fair. But we're just going to sit it out for a little while longer and see if we can't just hook that big, elusive gilt head. And if not, then it'll be home to safety and uh, back on the road again. Alright guys, while we're just waiting for this tide to go down and uh, for the bite time to start, as we said before, we're going to have a little chat with Carl here and um just see um about his group that he started on facebook etc and how it came about so how did it come about carl what made you uh, want to uh, start up a group and um how long ago was it that you've set it up it must be at least five years plus since when i started it and the main reason for having such it was more just to get a variety of places like well not just the thames estuary where i've mainly fish or well, fish a lot but also right there but also just like the south coast because i love fishing the south coast um yeah mixture really of, to, of catch reports yeah to be fair the concept of having a mixed area definitely works well it obviously works because you've got quite a following now haven't you i mean there's what nearly yeah. seven thousand members is there yeah nearly seven thousand members it's a shame they don't all post every week but that's, <laughs> that's groups for you a lot yeah. of people just join groups just to see what's being caught and don't post but i reckon that's cold slapping seven thousand wrists there <laughs> seven thousand members there should be seven thousand posts every yeah. week but you've also, your format's a little bit different to a lot of groups. You don't allow any selling on there at all, do you? Anything no. like that? No, no selling and no YouTubes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but to be fair, it's a formula that does work because, you know, people want to see fishing reports, don't they? It's not everyone's cup of tea, is it? No, you know no. I mean? no. Uh, he's jumping up because he's looking to get himself into a bite and I think uh, a bit of movement of the boat there, but... Yeah, well, it's a lovely group, I've got to say. I, and I've, I'm going to say I've posted a few bits up there over the time. I appreciate it. <laughs> and, uh, anybody out there, check it out. What's the group's name again? Thames Estuary, Kent and South Coast Fishing. There we go. If you don't know it already, check it out. Thames Estuary, Kent and South Coast Fishing on Facebook. Join the group and um, enjoy it. And if you do join the group, as come from the kingpin, make sure you post. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Carl. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get ourselves a few decent fish now to post up on the group, eh? <laughs> nice one. There you go, guys. <laughs> There's my catch of the day so far. A nice big edible crab. I'm gonna go straight back. There we go. Right, guys. Here we go. I've just had a nice guilt there. I'm very, very sorry, but my camera malfunctioned. And we just was more concerned with these sort of conditions to get it in the boat than to um, than to lose it. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna try to hold it up. Look at that there. Oh, he's unlocking himself slowly but surely. That there is a fish of about two pound, I reckon. Let's hold him up. 
there. There we go, guys. That's a lovely, lovely looking gilt, that one. I'm really pleased with that because he's so difficult fishing today. That's the prize, the golden bars. That's getting on for two pound, that one now. Probably maybe two pound, if not a little bit over. Very lovely fish. Um, I'm going to take this one for the pot and uh, make a nice dinner out of this one. But there you go, guys. Lovely guilt, lovely fire. I'm very sorry we didn't get it on film, but the camera malfunctioned and um, I didn't have time to do anything because I wanted to get this in the net. So there we are. Let's see if we can get a few more, eh, guys? Well, here you go, guys. <laughs> Me and Cole have adopted a, a bit of a different approach to our fishing at the moment with the weather we've got. We're doing a bit of touch ledgering. We've got our second rods, both of us, next to the boat because we can't fish two rods out effectively. We're swinging all over the place and we're fishing one single rod cast out and um, just holding the line, waiting to field for bites because the wind's so strong that it looks like you're getting a bite every minute on the rod tip. So we've had one fish doing it and fingers crossed we can find another one. We really want our coal to f bend into a decent gilt head. There's a bite, there's a bite. That was a proper bite there. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, we've got a bream on here, guys, I think. Don't think it's a good one, a, a big one, but it's a bream. I think. Now, just when I said it, uh, about Coochie's bream, he goes and takes one. Guys, there's a little Coochie's for you. Lovely looking fish. Beautiful fish. Happy with that. Again, very, very testing conditions. And um, we've managed to pour another one out of the bag for you. So there you go. Have a listen to that, guys. That's what we're dealing with. <laughs> Still got a lovely selection of ragworm here. Cole dug us some real snakes. Have a look at some of these here, lot. soggy and wet fingers are sore with rag juice a few pricks from the last gilt that I caught in the hand as well but it's all for the fun of the fair and this is how we're baiting it up guys just a big long snake with a big long towel like so goes it's a bass <laughs> he made a mockery of you Cole oh put that one away no pressure Cole's just getting a little knock now right let me bring this rod in don't give it any slack Cole you've got a nice guilt on there mate you want, you want... He's gone. oh He's gone. no it makes you want to cry, doesn't it? No, Come on, get out there again. Well, guys, that'll have to do us today. We've, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. We've managed to catch a few fish. Unfortunately, the one we were really after, that last um, take that Cole had, that felt like a decent guilt, weren't to be and got away. But, um, you know, we've ploughed on through some rough weather today for you guys to get a few fish. We've had a few bass. That nice little cooch is we've had a guilt as well. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the time down there. Yeah, always Brilliant. welcome. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again next time. And uh, happy days.